I mean, honestly, like, to me, like, the old Turtles games, like, they were fun, but they didn't have as much depth as a lot of other beat-em-ups. Like, to me, like, they weren't as crazy as, like, a Streets of Rage game or something, but I'm looking at some of the gameplay, and it looks like they incorporated a lot of what they did in Streets of Rage 4, which, to me, Streets of Rage 4 is might be the best beat-em-up game that I've ever played. So we'll see if this lives up to it. I feel like at every phase of my life, I had a different favorite Ninja Turtle. Like, originally, like, when I first got into Ninja Turtles when I was a kid, it was probably Leonardo. And then... Then I like... I like Mangelo, like Michelangelo, because he was a party dude. I wanted to be a party dude. It was cool to be a party dude. Then as I got older... It was definitely fucking uh, Raphael. So he's like cool, edgy Ninja Turtle. I want to be like Raphael. I don't think I ever had a Donatello phase, with the exception of the fact that in the original NES game, I'm not paying attention to any of this now. It's gonna be a shit show, but it's, it's alright. We'll we'll get through it. But Donatello, my one Donatello phase, I will say it was the original NES game for uh, the original Ninja Turtles game because he was so much better than all the turtles. Like that was like. It's weird, because it's, like, it's so fucking unbalanced, the original Ninja Turtles game for NES. Like, Donatello has, like, a fucking, that massive reach with the any bow. Comments? I'm pretty sure it does as much damage as any of the other weapons. You got fucking Raphael with his, like, little sigh that it's, like, you basically need to put yourself in range to be damaged. To actually fucking use him. And, like, a fucking, uh... You get that first boss battle with Rocksteady, and you can literally just stand up there, crouch, and fucking just go downward. All right, so we got. Oh, we can we can pick April or Splinter right from the jump. Hmm. I, oh yeah, people were complaining that her titties ain't big enough, right? I don't know. So you, she got a solid handful there. I don't know what the problem is. I'm assuming that all the turtles play a little different too. So this is like, all right, the original arcade game. And it's like, it's, it's whatever. Like, they all play exactly the same, but then it's like, now we've, we've, we've gone beyond that. I saw they're making a new Little Nemo game, too. The fucking, um... Whatchamacallit, Peter from Anamanaguchi was posting about... Oh, shit. I bet there's a challenge if I hit someone with that thing. Because, like, Peter from Anamanaguchi is, like, making the soundtrack for the new Little Nemo game. Although it looks like it's not, like, that similar to the NES game. What? What's that party favors? Mike's got the Coke? They, oh, they turned the, the pawn shop into the foot shop. A lot of guys be excited about that. If I ever wanted to do, like, a stream where you watch old ECW, old Japan, new Japan, love that. Hell yeah. Thanks, Arsenic. That might be something fun to do, but I don't know, because, like... I feel like re reaction content like that shit... Oh, I don't know, because, like, realistically, when it comes to streaming, like, reaction content is, like, the only thing that does real numbers. So maybe I should just sit here and watch old wrestling matches and react to them. So I don't know if it would be any good. I know it's also, like, weird copyright shit. Like, fucking, like, New Japan would definitely be off-limits. They're so strict about everything. Like, New Japan, if you if you post, like, a screenshot, they might fucking DMCA you on Twitter. Like, that's how New Japan is. There we go. It's fuck a Rat King time. I am the Rat King. You're I know. I don't know who you are. I imagine that I can't punch the rats. Or I could probably attack the ones that are jumping. Oh no. Not so fast, no, you can't run at me, I got special left. Oh, that was so lucky. Don't touch me. What I like about the soundtrack in this game, it kind of oh. like it does a good job. Of 
Oh, that's the taunt button. All right. Oh yeah, I never, I've not taunted yet until I did that. But uh, it does a good job of like capturing the aesthetic of the original music. While well, without like just like being copies of the original songs, I thought Streets of Rage 4 was amazing, but everyone was raving about that soundtrack. That soundtrack did not do it for me. I would change it to the retro soundtrack, or I would just like put on other music, because like I like didn't think that soundtrack was that good. Like it, to me, like it was so like bland and not memorable compared to the original Streets of Rage soundtrack. Or like any of them, but like, I'm not that. Not that I'm like really like fucking. I I, I probably couldn't tell you a single song that happens in this fucking game. I probably couldn't like be like, oh, like, yeah, that was a song in this game. But at least it kind of like blends in background-wise enough close to Turtles in Time that it's like I don't really like, think about it. And it's, I mean, when it, when it comes to uh, Treats of Rage Four. I know it's not a popular opinion, but to me, that soundtrack was just, like, aggressively bland. Which is, like, the one, to me, like, the one downside of an otherwise fucking amazing game. River City Girls, on the other hand, that one had a fucking banger soundtrack. Definitely stoked for the new River City Girls whenever that comes out. This is gonna get me a major promotion. I know, like, the only playable character I know that's for sure unlockable, though, is Casey Jones. Which is cool as fuck, because I don't think there's, like... Aside from tournament fighters, I don't remember there being a fucking, um... Oh, Vernon! Thank goodness I'm safe at last. I don't remember there being, like, a time you could play as Casey Jones outside of Tournament Fighters, which is fucking ass. Granted, like, the the Tournament Fighters video I did, like, years ago was pretty good. Like, it was one of those ones, too, where, like, like, nobody gave a shit about that video when it came out. And then, like, months later, like, people, like, it just, like, suddenly got, like, super fucking popular out of nowhere. Oh, there he is. Uncle Phil. Tempestra. Yo, I don't remember Tempestra. Oh, but there's, uh... There's Toka. There he is. Oh, but now he's, like, talking about surfing and shit. Surf is up. Yo, that just like made me think of like this random girl from like, I think it was like junior high. I don't, know, don't remember what the fucking name was, but like, I guess like she had like no concept of like, like people who listen to like metal or rock music outside of like Ninja Turtles. So it was like I would just like, you know, be like that kind of a guy, and she would call me the Surfer Dude, <laughs> which it was like I fucking like. Like, no part of my aesthetic on any level has ever been Surfer Dude, but I guess that was, like, this person's, like, frame of reference for, like, a guy that listens to bands. <laughs> the fucking Surfer Dude. Oh, no, get back here, Balloon! I mean, now it's, like, I mean, sometimes, you know, I like my my big stupid shirt, so I guess that's kind of Surfer duty now. Yo, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but to me, like, I would definitely rate Irma above April. I don't know. I feel like that might be a controversial opinion. But to me, like, I would definitely, definitely rate Irma above April. It's interesting how heavily the frogs are featured in this game. Because, I mean, it's like they were around in the cartoon, but they weren't, like, all over the place. Like, they would be there for, like, an episode or two. But they're really trying to make the frogs a thing in this game. Yeah, it's definitely good. They're definitely gonna be DLC. There's no very clearly. Oh, yo, yo, that's the fucking the same pixels as like Ninja Turtles one for NES. When fucking you go back to your uh, you go back into the sewer and you're like, oh, he they kidnapped Splinter and Shredder's on the TV and he talks to the turtles. That's the same fucking pixels. You know that WrestleMania song was like, -na 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 -na. it was like, 
they used it for a bunch of WrestleManias, and then kind of became Linda McMahon's theme for a bit. They had that one, and the fucking the Summer Slam Jam, which they did use sometimes, but not as much. But yeah, they had the, the fucking, uh, that, they had this fucking, um, what else did they have? They had that song with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and it's like, I'm Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I beat people up. <laughs> Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I beat people up. And that was like, that's at that phase of the 90s where it's like, you just had like, you had that like fucking rap desk, like, you started to have like fucking like marketing corporate people doing rap with the, the fucking and I'm here to say type shit. And so that album was so much like that. I'm Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I beat people up. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, beat people up. And then Bret Hart had like a fucking like a lovey dovey type song on it. And I swear to God, I'm everyone. I used to say this all the fucking time. I still remember this so clearly. But the Macho Man song, there's like this one fucking part where it dead ass sounds like someone farts in the fucking background of it. And it's like there's a part like I I, I haven't listened to the song fucking since I was a kid. But I remember even coming back to the fucking song as an adult and listening to the fuck listening for the fucking fart in the song. And the fart was still like, it wasn't something like made up as a kid. It's like, oh yeah, Rock Macho Man farted in the song. <laughs> it was like, you could listen to the fucking song. But yeah, like, it's, there's a fart in that song. The Macho Man song on WrestleMania the album. I fucking swear there is. Yeah, that's the one. It's like, he's the Macho Man. They got like the gospel singers coming at some point. And it's like, he's the Macho Man. <laughs> what else? Oh my god, the Tatanka song. So I guess this album came out a little bit like, more like, like, it's probably like 92 or something like that, I'm thinking. Because it has the fucking, that stupid Tatanka song, where it's like the only thing in the song is just like, Tatanka. Buffalo. That's it, it's like three minutes of, of fucking Tatanka Buffalo. Yo, you know who needs to be a playable character though? Usagi Ujimbo, the fucking rabbit samurai guy. He's gotta be playable, man. It's such a waste if he's not playable. Alright, let's be special. Go back to hell where you came from. I'm trying to remember what other song. There's like a Big Boss Man song. The Big Boss Man honestly had like one of the least worst songs on an album. Just because it was like, it was his song. Just like re-recorded better. Like, he was the only one, I think, that just, like, did his theme song. So, like, there was a video I was working on that was, like, pretty much, and it's weird, because, like, there's multiple talk pages for Goatsy on Wikipedia. I forgot, like, how you access, like, there's two of them. I guess at some point the page was kind of split for whatever reason. But on one of them, there was, like, a whole fucking ass discussion about whether or not the original Goatsy image should be allowed on Wikipedia. Which I guess, I mean, it makes sense because it's like, it's like, oh, it's a fucking open up asshole. It shouldn't be on Wikipedia. But then it's like, it's relevant enough to have an article. So the argument can be made that the image itself has a place on Wikipedia. So there's like a whole thread of people arguing that. Oh, here he is. Are they going to use the fucking... What I didn't realize, what I never realized, so when you fight him, you fight Krang in uh, Turtles 2, and they got this song that's like, dun, 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 dun. or for the matter of the, the Game Boy version, too, that has that theme song. It's such a banger song, the fuck, oh, it tells you when you complete it, okay. It's such a good song. I never picked up on the fact that's like a a mix of the, his his theme from the cartoon because it's so like it never sounds like that in the cartoon. It's about time my tapes are priceless. With Vernon with his like his like slightly gay Jerry Seinfeld voice. My tapes are priceless. What's the deal with my tapes being priceless? Yo, all right, that's so weird. The fucking, cause like those are like the pizza monsters, but they like now they look like actual pizza. Cause I remember the pizza monsters from the fucking, 
from the fucking cartoon, but like they didn't look like they just had like these big ass alien heads. Now they're actual pizza. They got fucking pepperoni and fucking green stuff on them now. Yeah, maybe you know what? That might be it actually. Uh, the fact that they look too much like the xenomorph that like they had to fucking legally change how it looks. Because they were literally before they were literally just like tan xenomorphs. Come on, throw stuff at me. Well, like, throw it at me in a, at a, in a moment where I time it correctly, please. There's, like, never a point where Donatello was, like, my favorite turtle. Like, the other ones, they all had their moment. For Donatello, like, it was really just, like, he was good to play as in the first Ninja Turtles game. But other than that, he's... I mean, first off, his weapon's a fucking wooden stick. Come on. And it's like, yeah, like, alright. Michelangelo's weapon is a wooden stick on a string, but he's a party dude. Thanks for saving me for these cubes, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Donatello's not a party dude. He's like, Donatello is... Like, if fucking Ninja Turtles was now, like, Don Donatello would just be a fucking Reddit mod. Yo, Slash is that ass, like, the Ninja Turtles fucking Virgin versus Chad. Chad. Right now, it's like the version Michelangelo versus the Chad Slash. The, honestly, this song is so ass compared to Krang's old themes. Like, where's the fucking melody? It's like a bunch of like, bum, 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 nothing really going on here. The old song's like, dun, 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 But then it's like they kind of like do it a little bit. They do it a little bit here, but then it's like they, it's like they did the like thing where they're trying to be like saucy about it, and like they play the the, the song a little bit, but then they kind of dance around the main melody. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna have like this, this like fucking like Aqua Teen Hunger Force sounding a rap song for Shredder. He swishes turtles like a tight girl. Yeah, this, it's like, there are things I like about this soundtrack, but as a whole, I find it to be, like, aggressively mid. But what it is, is, like, I just, I feel like, what it is, like, songs like this, like, like, I mean, games like this, rather. It's like, when you're going to that old retro aesthetic, like, all these shits had, like, such fucking memorable songs. I couldn't, like, sing back a single fucking song that happened in this game so far. I feel like the statue, it's kind of small. Right. They kind of shrunk it down to accommodate Krang. I don't know, I'm sure somebody did the math on this to like, figure out like how big Krang would have to be for this to be like an accurate to size Statue of Liberty. Kind of a tedious boss battle. Not so fast, 
Ugh. Party, dude. Party, dude. No. All right, there we go. My revenge impossible. Is there more? I feel like that's not the end of it. New York can rest easy once more now that Lady Liberty has been restored. Gleaming Glory, I, Vernon Fenwick, who is not at all scared, can confirm that Shredder has been defeated by the city's protectors, the Green Guardians of Good, the Web Warriors themselves. The Punk Frogs. Hell yeah. Crane being crushed, Mikey can do what he loves best. Party. How is this a comparison to Turtles in Time? I definitely think it's it's weird, because like there's things about Turtles in Time that I think are like better and more memorable and shit. But I feel like the combat system in this game is like so is vastly superior to any other Turtles beat em up. At the same time though, because like to me like right now the obvious comparison to make a Streets of Rage 4, I do feel like Streets of Rage 4 is the better game. But this is still like a solid game. Definitely gonna replay it. Calabunga, thank you for playing. You're, you're well oh, Casey Jones! I know this is coming, but I'm still hyped. Alright, well, I think that's where I'm going to call it a night, eh? Thank you guys for hanging out in the stream tonight. I'll catch you on the next one.